And so I got a couple more options to show you after this um, wrap around object shape, which is really cool. Uh, I think it's fairly new to detect the detect edges feature because I used to have to draw a bounding box that fit the image the way I wanted it to. And actually this is editable as well. If you could use the direct selection tool, I think you can edit the contour. Anyway, I don't need to do that. I think it did a really good job. So anyway, if I go back and I change this, this is something called jump object. So all the columns jump around the object. If I move the object a little bit, let's see if I can move it. If I move it to just one column, so it doesn't span two, then it'll just make that one column jump around it. Um, there's something else called jump to next column. So if I click that, then all the text automatically jumps to the next column from after the image. See, as I move it down, the column moves down as well. And then last but not least, I'm going to just switch this back here to this. And then if you want, you can actually do something called invert the text wrap. So if I make a circle and I press wrap around object shape. So now it's wrapping around this circle here. But if I then press invert, it actually pops the text into the text wrap instead of the other way around, instead of having it flow around, which is a really cool thing too. So if I take off the stroke, for example, then it's just a circle of text, and you may want to do that. I think it's pretty cool.